Get off. Story times were like mishaps, I guess, to tell you of buses. <laughs> I know, I know it seems boring at first. <laughs> Some of them are more mundane than others. Um, I'll tell you them in chronological order because that seems to make the most sense to me. First one is when I was, I think, in sixth grade about I uh, definitely a few years ago I cannot remember but I was definitely like sixth fifth sixth grade and we were driving along peacefully when we me and the bus driver smelled burning plastic electric smell he goes can you smell that and I go yeah, I can smell that. He shoots over to the side of the road, opens the doors, bolts out, looks around the bus. He can't find anything. So then he goes like back at the bus and he like continues driving a bit worried. And then eventually the smell goes away and we're fine. And we're like, okay, I guess that's the end of that. Story two. <laughs> I was at this point in my mental health treatment. Sorry, with a loud car. <laughs> Damn car, that's rude. In the mental health treatment. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, story two. We were in the, the mental health. I was in the mental health day treatment center. I was sitting in the back of the bus being quiet. Bus driver is driving. I realize it's been way the fuck longer than it usually takes for me to go home. This mofo bus driver, when I say, hey, dude, when are we going to get to my house? He's like, oh, shit. I forgot you were on the bus. You're being quieter than normal. And I'm like, okay, why can't you, like, drop the other guy off first? He literally has to turn around and drive my ass back home. And then drop the other guy off. When I get back on the bus, I have to sit in front because of his mistake, right? And I'm just sitting there thinking, what the fuck, dude? You should have paid attention more. <laughs> Third story. This story gets a lot more crazy, right? I was in a powerlifting team at the blind school. And I think this was like our second tournament. Um, and, um, a Friday we're, like, driving in a minibus, like, me and the powerlifting team, and the driver doesn't realize how low-hanging the roof is of the hotel, and accidentally grazes it, and, um, this is when things start slowly going downhill for this poor bus. It starts being on its last legs, and... To be clear, I don't think hitting the roof does any damage to any part of the bus that will affect it in any later sense of what's going to happen. Um, so anyway, he like tells the hotel nothing is really damaged, we're fine. Um so anyway, we sleep in the hotel, we do the tournament thing, some of the team gets goes home. And we're just left with a few people. At this point, we're planning on going home because it's Saturday at 8 or 9 p.m. And we're driving home. And I think at this point, we're in Eugene, Oregon, if I remember correctly. And we are driving and the bus dies. He tries to get it going and it goes a little bit and dies again and dies again. And we try to you know, flag people down on the side of the road, but they're just passing by and passing by and passing by and passing by. But luckily, um, some person owes the bus driver favors or something. And, um, so we have to get, like, jumper cabled, like, five, like, 
six fucking times. And luckily, there's like a truck stop um, nearby. Oh, by the way, it's bloody cold. It's bloody wet. And it's bloody fucking rainy. And not the feet of me, like, because I'm sitting there and there's like a bag by my feet. I have like a blanket, so I wrap me... I wrap around me a blanket, and I have some junk food, so I start mowing on some junk food. People are freaking out, so I said just a word game. Some jackass keeps on opening the doors, letting all the heat out. And the dude, stop opening and closing the doors, and he doesn't listen. Um, eventually, all of us troops are allowed in the restaurant, and I grab my phone charger, and I go in the little motel restaurant. Bus driver, um, I guess calls the principal or something, and we're allowed hot chocolate on the school, um, card, so we all get hot chocolates, <laughs> and we stay in the restaurant till closing time, and we're standing in between, in the hallway between the restaurant and the convenience store, <laughs> and this guy is busy, like, stripping the floor to re-wax it, and there's this, he leaves a tiny-ass neuropath. That we're allowed to walk through because we managed to get some motel rooms at very, very, very short ass notice, right? <laughs> and um, I accidentally ruined it by stepping where I wasn't supposed to. And at this point, I was in roaring pain, crying my ass off, and I cried even harder because he yells at me. And I was just miserable, right? And so eventually we make it to the whole, t like, motel room. And it is super fucking dead ass dusty. <laughs> and there's the two beds, so I'm staying with my roommate, right? And I have to, like, call my mom, like, at midnight to ask her to grab, I mean, not to ask her to grab, to like, ask her permission to ask one of my coaches to go to the corner store to grab some, like, Advil. Um, but, yeah we can oh going back to the restaurant scene there's like only three outlets in the walls and like like charger stations or whatever and my charger was like a charger station people were updating their parents and uh, like using my charger as a charger station because like there's like yeah it was crazy <laughs> going back to the motel room uh we stay the night at the motel room in the morning we get like breakfast and <laughs> We had to, like, ride, like, a 16-seater all-star van. And at this point, it's, like, Sunday. We get to, like, my school's dorm rooms, which we call, like, cottages. And we, me, at least, I get home uh, Sunday, like, noon. And might I remind you, we were supposed to get home by the latest 9 p.m. Saturday, not 12 Sunday noon in the fourth story <laughs> i'm gonna miss some parts but i can't remember right now the fourth story we get on this big bus to um go snowmobiling at mount hood right first mishap on this bus is this emergency door keeps on trying to bloody fucking open and it makes us annoying <laughs> noise because of the alarm right <laughs> so we have to like stop by this convenience store whatever to get duct tape and we have to like or this hanger thing and duct tape and we have to like rig it closed so the bar of the emergency door thingy won't keep on tr like opening right and then as we get closer to like my hood we put the snow chains on then after oh the snow chains this is night this is the second mishap right and the snow chains, after a while, we realized, oh, fuck, they're not on the tires. Oh, no. Somebody goes back a mile or two and scouts back, and they're disappeared. So, like, we're like, holy shit, a ghost stole the snow chains off the tires. <laughs> so we have to use the automatic chains. So, yeah, those were... Um, mishaps with buses brought to you by Zoe. Have a good day, y'all. Take picture. Take picture. Take picture. Stop. Nine minutes. Stop recording.